Hey there, Keller Williams. This is Bryston from KWU, and today we'll be learning how to archive, delete, and restore contacts in command. Sometimes you need to remove a contact from your database. Maybe they're non-responsive or they don't want to be reached out to. Whatever the case might be, command gives you the ability to first archive contacts and then to fully delete them once you're sure. You can also restore any contacts you've archived as well. So to get started, let's log in to agent.kw.com with your Keller Williams login credentials. Once you're logged in, click the contacts icon on the left sidebar. Now, if you're wanting to archive a single contact, there are two ways you can go about doing that. One is identifying the contact from your contact list, making your way over to these three dots, and clicking archive. Then clicking archive once more to confirm. Another way you can archive a single contact is by clicking the name of the contact. And once you've accessed the contact record, click the archive button right here. And click archive one more time. You can also archive multiple contacts at once. To do so, click the checkbox beside the names of the contacts you wish to archive. And if you want to archive an entire page of contacts, you can click the checkbox beside the name column. Then make your way to the Select Bulk Action dropdown. Click Archive. Then click Archive one more time. Now that you have successfully archived some contacts, you can either permanently delete them from command or you can restore them back to your contact database. Now, something I like to point out is that if you try to add a contact with the same email address as a contact in your archive, the system will block you. So it's important that after you archive a contact, you either restore it or permanently delete it. So now you need to navigate to your contact archive. To do so, click the drop down arrow beside your name in the top right hand corner of your screen. Click settings. From this screen, click the drop down arrow beside command settings. Click the drop down beside contacts. And click contact archive. Now you can either restore an archived contact back to your database or you can permanently delete it from command. To restore a contact, you can either click the restore button if it's a single contact you want to restore, or if you want to restore multiple contacts, you can click this checkbox and click restore selected. To permanently delete a contact, you can either click the trash can icon and click OK if it's a single contact you want to delete, or you can select multiple and click delete selected permanently and click OK once more. One more thing I'd like to add is that if you are needing to archive or permanently delete all of your contacts, you can also use database wipe, which is right beneath the contact archive right here. Once you click that, you can either click archive all contacts and click OK. This will move all of your contacts into your contact archive. You can also delete all of your archived contacts by clicking Delete All Archived Contacts and clicking OK. And once you complete this step, there's no way to reverse it. So make sure that this is the option that you want to choose before making that decision. For more resources, click the question mark in the top right hand corner of your screen. Select Keller Williams University and use the search. Thank you. Want to take your contacts to the next level? Check these videos out right here.